Good morning. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. How come you can't hear me? <laughs> <laughs> How are, are you? I, I'm good. Are, are we in, in an hour? I, I mean, I'm okay with now, but. Well, 10 o'clock it said, which is 10 o'clock here. Right. So I'm good. I'm good in an hour. No, I'm fine for now. Okay. Okay. Because Sylvia changed her. She yeah. Moved her time and so. She had to go work her with her husband's business today because, or this morning because uh, his secretary's sick or something. So. So guess what? To start this, I had a meeting yesterday with Cole from Access Communications. Uh huh. You know Cole? No. Uh, so anyway, I had a meeting with him yesterday. Access is shifting from provincial because I used to do a program called Making Sense of Sense for Kids. And I still have people walking in and going, Lori Renton, what you're doing with those kids is amazing. So it's, it's, I had someone from Prince Albert five hours away send me a note and say, I saw you on TV. So it's still playing. Those kids were 12, now they're 20. <laughs> But anyway, him and I had a meeting yesterday. I called him and said, Cole, can we get together? They're shifting access to, it's called Access Now, and it's going across Canada. They're still in a, a pilot working with it. So they're linked into Regina, but it's going to go across Canada, anywhere in Canada available on an app. And he said, would you be interested in doing a series? Wow. So... You know what, Elijah, one thing I'm realizing for me, because I've run my own company and I'm a seven, I take charge, I do things. We're doing some strategic, old fashioned strategic business planning with Rob because he's he's a certified financial planner in corporate. And so Carrie said one day, I think we need just an old fashioned business plan to get us on task. So Rob has people asking him, well, what's Lori doing now? And he goes, I honestly can't tell you. So he's doing some strat planning for us just for free to help us out, to get us kind of guided in a direction so we can really pin down what it is we're doing out to the world. And we had our first meeting last night and it was great. It was really good. So that'll be good for us. And then the next one is next Tuesday and it's for two hours, four to six, once a week right now. Okay. Yeah. So he's already seeing, and we did a SWOT analysis, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, opportunities, threats, and all of us came at our own whatever, and then Rob put it together. So nobody knew who did what except themselves. And <clears throat> he said, do you guys notice your threats? Look at all your threats. And we're, okay, we're looking at them. Well, normally he said, we ran an investment firm in Dauphin with insurance and all this. He says, our threats were competitors. Our threats were compliance because they're watching us 24 seven. All your threats are internal. He goes, wow. He goes, I mean, that's really cool because you guys have something so unique. There's no threats out there because what we're bringing to the world is so new, but he said, you guys, all your threats are internal. So that's something that needs to straighten out. He goes, and what were the threats? They were, uh, do I have them here? Just a sec. Okay, they, they were, oh, I don't have them. I took them home. Ah, darn it. I took them home. But it was just internal stuff like who's doing what role and da 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 and what are we offering and all that. So the threats were, we don't even honestly have a, from four people's perspective, a definition kind of of who we are and what we're taking to the world. He and says, I know Lori knows what she's doing with her discovery process. He goes, I've started seen her describe that in Montreal to other financial advisors. I've seen her do that. So I kind of know where she's coming in that, but that's just in, in the money realm or the coaching realm around money. But what else is it? And nobody could really answer it. So um, I thought that was a really good exercise for us because then we're seeing what each person is bringing to the table or what we believe they're bringing to the, to the table. He also saw quite a bit of animosity between Carrie and Christy. They weren't in person. They were both online. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we know some stuff has to happen. And, you know, Sylvia and I made a decision yesterday, Elijah, that that map we built, the one you're going to put into a format for us, we're using it. We did that map. We invite new people in. Why are we changing the map? Right. So there's something even been delaying. I'm lending the Visionary Hub 10 grand. But it hasn't been done yet because it all the forms hadn't been signed for the commitment. But there was just there's just something halting us back. So we'll see what happens. So what do you think the thing is between uh, Christy and Carrie? Oh, I don't think I think Christy feels Carrie's not being uh, putting enough in. We're freaking doing the dare to be you. We created it, her and I. She put together the whole platform and her and I are facilitating it. And she can design and she can put stuff together like you. She did the whole Visionator camp, the whole outline for it and everything. Carrie said yesterday at school, she goes, oh my God, I felt like I was breastfeeding all day long. Because all the teachers, they're just needy, right? And she's a principal. So Carrie's got a lot of value. And I said to her, her with a degree and a master's in education, yeah. to me, is what we need. Because do you really think she wants to be there, Elijah? No. She doesn't, but it pays the bills and it makes her money right now. Right. So, so also what Rob saw through it, because he made a comment, he goes, I already can see the person that's going to be holding the fort down, making everybody accountable and stuff like that. I have no clue who he was thinking. And then him and I and Sylvia had a meeting and he goes, Sylvia, you're that person. You are the calm that just keeps everything in line. So she started to cry. She she loved it, but it was so, I guess it felt good for her to be complimented because that's a compliment. And it was hard for her to accept that compliment. So, because she runs the operations right now, Elijah. She's making the posters. She's going to Vistaprint and run, running off our little cards. She's doing, she sets up the hub factor. She does everything. Right. And it's like a little bit of Christy is, and this isn't ragging or anything, it's just personalities. A little bit of her is, why isn't everybody doing equal parts? That's not what we're, and when she came in on Kaylee like this, I've dealt with 40 kids like you and da da da. And I'm going, I am so sorry. We are like this and everybody is equal. So, I mean, she's a 36 year old, eight personality, not very healthy in personality. So, and she's new. She came, she showed up here in April. Hmm. And she's learned a lot already just with the mapping, right? So it's shame on us for not being, who do we want as part of our team? Hmm. And then when Rhonda Rowe, she's so eloquent. She's been an anchor for us as a supporter and coming and giving us feedback. And she said she won't sit at a hub factor table again with Christy there. She said she's a bully. And she goes, and I don't need to be there. I'm a 55 year old woman. I don't need to sit at a table with a bully. And she's, and I, what do you say? Yeah. What do you say? So I'm thinking, because when I said we've already created a values map, and I know she went to you with that right after, we've already created a values map. We're the founders and we're on the corporation, Sylvie and I. We haven't changed anything yet. Um, we're going to bring that values map. That's why I've asked you if you could put that together and then we'll have it done. We've got it on the wall now. I'm going to go show you like it's really good the way we've got it set up. We, we, are, we photocopied the values and then we put all the values into place. Right. Oh, awesome. So, that, so I just sent this. Yeah, I sent this to Carrie to look at the values that go in each of the parts. Because you got it right, Elijah. When you say... When you say, you know, look at the conversation cards in each of the nine areas, things stick out for people. We've never, and when Carrie, Christy said, well, what about Carrie and I? Remember when I had a map for my company and Lorianne came in when Justine started and said, we redo the map now? And you're going, are you kidding me? You bring people in that blend in with the map that's already there. Mm. So that made me realize that what are we doing? Sylvia and I are just going to come on in, walk in, change whatever you want. So. Well, and again, I, I think, you know, I think a lot of that responsibility comes to me and that mm -hmm. idea of the four and the founders. 
and and not being aware enough to know that that the process was too quick right so i mean i you know it's 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 a learning experience but i mean we we've, we've gone through this and <clears throat> not quite a number of times but it's different each time but it's i think whenever you're coming in with something new that's so new and people come quickly they have no idea what they're getting into right like they they, they don't have a, a clue no and then when they they come as as you see like in in nearly every human interaction our shadow Mm -hmm. comes up right and that's it's funny because like with this the group that i'm working with lucielle right with the 144 yeah. people going through a one-year training program the first three months has all been on personal growth it's all like three months and they're meeting weekly but every day there's almost like an exercise they've been taking them through this massive curriculum and part of it is the gene keys and their shadow, but but really sort of acknowledging and, and knowing. And, and and I, you know, we all have it, right? I mean, I've of course we do. I've been, you know, dealing with mine all this time, you know, in yeah. a sense of you can have something that's great, doesn't necessarily mean that you have the, the ability to present it or that you're sort of in a good enough space to be able to communicate it with people, right? And so, you know as as you've seen i i've been going through my own <laughs> yeah. well of course elijah and we're here for a lifetime to go through that but it's are we willing to do the work are we doing the work because i mean my like i'm working with the any my enneagram coach because i really believe that is a model that's going to take humanity to a new place and so even me learning a lot about my seven and the rest and the parts of me i'm still freaking learning oh my gosh but i'm also 61 years old where i just don't want to be oh everybody's got to do equal parts and everybody's this i trust mm. that people are going to come together and bring like carrie and i we designed dare to be you in april we're presenting it now to eight ten women and we don't even talk to each other within the week at all we just know we put the faith out there and we bring it together so I mean, we haven't had to worry about a thing. We know that we're working together for a lifetime. We know that. Mm. So even Kali, who is her aunt, the shaman, I said that the family constellation, when she first met me in 07, she said, Carrie, don't you two part because you guys have big things to bring to the world. So what's the, what's, how are you going to um, deal with Kristen? We don't know yet. Like, I don't know. Like one thing we're going to do, Sylvia and I, is present the map, the synergy map, and then just see what comes up with it. And I don't know if we maybe if the best thing would be when we present that synergy map and go through it, because I thought maybe our call, you and I and Sylvia, is to go through it. So even Sylvia has a, even a better understanding on it. She's pretty good. And then we present it to Carrie and Christy and just see what happens. Because honestly, Elijah, when I did my group map in my company, and it was my team, and we all chose cards, and then together we had to choose. But that's because it was my company. And I said, let's do this. I want to include you guys. Right. Um, the one kid that I knew wasn't working, he retired, he left two weeks later, because the values and everything didn't resonate with him. And he left within two weeks, he was gone to a bank. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate because Bonnie Penner, I know very well, which is Christy's mom that lives here. You know, she's a beautiful lady, but we had a conversation yesterday. Christy's coaching a girl that she met here through the hub factor. And now she's all concerned. Well, you know, what goes to the hub and what goes to my step up and how's that going to work? And we have to figure those out. And I said, Sylvia and I wrote, we're 100% committed to the hub. It is the hub. And then we can all build income from that. And she's thinking 80, 20%. She shows up for a hub factor once every couple months and then pisses off three people and then takes, because she's fairly aggressive, right? So she gets this lady is coaching her and then, well, 20% to the hub. Gary doesn't believe Co Christy's even a coach. She doesn't have the compassion to be a, a life coach. I don't know. She says she sees him, her group working in a business full of men. 
Mm. Like that's who she could coach. Doesn't mean she couldn't stay linked in as, you know, whatever skill she brings in, but do we want her as one of our four people? And, you know, Rhonda Rowe described us perfectly when we were at the last meeting, Christy was, I think she was facilitating at the time. And Rhonda said, it feels like you guys are, here's a bow and arrow. And she goes, you've got the tension built in the arrow, but you don't know where you're going with it. You don't have the bullseye. And I, she said it so eloquently. And then that's the day she really continually got cut off by Christy. And that's when she said, she, she took me aside, took me for lunch and said, you know, Lori, what happened with you being the leader there? You've got such great leadership skills. You let this person come in and they're a bully. I'm sorry, but they're a bully. And I want to include everybody. Inclusion's a big thing for me, Elijah. Like, I just want to see, even if I can be a millionaire, I want just everybody to be a millionaire. And my Evan, my Enneagram guy, he says, you know what, Lori? It doesn't have to be everyone. He says, well, you know Maybe I can give a, a bit of a story of uh, my partner who does yeah. the, the weekly dances at her house. Okay. And she has her friends, some friends she knows, but they're they're quite they're kind of like leaders in their own right. In yeah. a sense. And so what I saw was they never let her be the leader. They were always sort of taking over in, in different ways. And I've had that experience quite a bit in my own life where I go into a room and I thought it's sort of known I'm the facilitator. And then I watch a younger, you know, kind of intelligent, charismatic person. And all of a sudden they just take over the meeting and you just watch them take it over but they have no understanding of what they're doing. They have no understanding of the field. They have no understanding of the context. They have no understanding of even why they're there, but they're, they, they, they feel because of, you know, they want to lead or they, you know, they're just in a, of their ex, inexperience and my own kind of passiveness in terms of, okay, I'll just watch what, what they do. Right. And, and, and you sort of defer sometimes just to see what happens. But then you sort of go, okay, well, that that happened. And I mean, and that's why these tools, right? Like the thing about the hub factor or the synergizer or any of these things you want to talk about is that the facilitator has a very specific control of the conversation, mm -hmm. right? Which is very different from most conversations where it can go anywhere, right? But if you go into like a, a big corporation, the CEO is in the room, you know that the CEO is in control of the conversation, right? Like the leader is in control if they're, you know, an effective leader. And if you look at any type of meeting, for me, it's it's like, okay, well, who is in control of the conversation? And how how is this process going along? And it's, you know, it's either haphazard or, or it's very well done. And so I think, you know, and again, what I've seen with you over the years, right, is, is you bring the people in and, and again, you're, you're, you're kind of like, again, this inclusiveness that you want the people to be participating, but you're not sort of like commanding because you want to be a different type of leader. But then if people don't understand that or respect that, then you, you, you're sort of, you, you've lost the, the field in a sense. And so I think with someone like, and I think the eights, the eights are like, and this is something which, which happens over and over again, the eights will, will try to take over the meeting. They want to be the leader, right? They, they and, and it's their natural tendency to take over the meeting. And if you look at the, the convo types, right, with the, the butt in of the takeover, you know, these are, just, these are things that happen, right? Like, they, they, so that said, right, like it, it's, I think it's, um, you know, it's, it's a bit like, it seems to me like the harmony of that inner core, like the, the getting that strong team that understands why they're there and understands the deeper processes and understands that, you know, you, you have to have a lot more conscious awareness mm -hmm. of, of how we're doing this because you're right. You don't want to bully. You don't want someone, I mean, so that said, <laughs> what's the answer? So like you said it, like I'm just going, so even when the hub factor started, 
that came through my a dream of mine, this hub factor idea. And, I, and we have that map and it's a powerful map because you and I've done it as just me and you did all 12 sections with me and bringing that together. And then it's Christy that goes, well, everybody needs a chance to facilitate, including Sylvia, right? So she's inclusion as well. Like everybody needs a chance. But then masterminds, we're all supposed to be creating a mastermind. Carrie's not going to right now. She's crazy with school. But Christy's all, everybody needs to do a mastermind. And Sylvia, da, da. Do you know what? Sylvia doesn't want to be a presenter. She doesn't want to be out there. She wants to be holding the fork down, creating a landing page, doing the posters. And last night she started to cry, like shed tears again. Cause I said, that is not what she wants to do. She appreciates the little push, but she doesn't want to be told you need to create this because then it's equal. Everybody's contributing. Uh, she contributes, honestly, Elijah watching, I'm here all the time observing here. She's contributing a ton to the hub. For sure. Oh, it's unbelievable. And I'm sitting back going, okay, well, Christy's got a job. She's a mortgage broker. She's doing her coaching on the side. Carrie's got a job. I sold part of my company, so I'm okay right now financially. Sylvia's putting her heart and soul into this with zero. Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of glad she's not here today so that I'm able to have this open conversation with you to go, what? I don't, I, I, I don't know yet how this is going to happen, but I know even the tech side, Christy's pretty amazing with technology. Um, but I mean, like Rob said, Frick, you can hire a tech person. <laughs> so if that's the only skill they're bringing and Carrie feels there's not enough, how is she even a life coach? She doesn't even have the compassion to be a coach. And then when we talked about Enneagram personalities in the masterminds, which goes, I want to do the Enneagram personalities. She learned it a month ago on what it was. She didn't even know what it was. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going, you know, until like you said, Elijah, when we're looking at these maps and we're seeing the depth of what they're really about, it's, it's not a, a, a surface thing that we're dealing with. No. And Node saw that. Node, the doctor, saw that. And she just kind of demeaned him. He didn't say anything to me. It was it was um, the four, the type four personality that said to me, did you see the way she taught? He goes, Lori, I, he's a pastor and a social worker. And he goes, observing, that person could be putting a whole wrench in your whole of what you're being. Because I've known you now for five years and I see your heart and soul. He said, that person could be putting a wrench in it. Does she know the work that no does in communication skills and all that? Because he's done the work with, what's his name, that Wilbur, he looked at your mastermind map, the, the mastermind group, and he goes, that is so powerful. Like he was just almost in overwhelm because of the power of these maps. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't even ready to begin yet because he saw how much power was there. Huh. And to me, she's taking it too lightly. Yeah. And so why don't, what do we do, Elijah? What would be your thought for? Um, well, let's, uh, let's ask the Oracle. Let's ask. Let's, ask, let's uh, I'll, I'll uh, bring up the, remedy just you know mm -hmm. cause again because some of these we do we don't know right like it's uh yeah. no um, she'll blame me when the time comes but that's okay i've got big shoulders okay let me just uh, bring that up here Your curiosity is spelt wrong behind you. Is it? It doesn't have a U. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something that I, I miss. Oh, it's too fun. I was doing, I'm doing a, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it 
it's a, oh. it's it's a, a hundred it's a board with a basically 144 okay it starts with that four in the middle and yeah. anyway and then it spirals and so i'm looking at it as kind of like a, a game of as you add, add a person it's like you're adding a person into this 144 so it's so and i'm i i, I can't believe like I, I'm, I'm i'm doing my thing and i'm writing and then I made two mistakes, like glaring mistakes. And so I had yeah. to repaint. And this is just, just a number sequence, right? And like, it's hard to, to you know, admit, you know, these mistakes we make that are just so glaring, that are so obvious that he was kind of like, okay, my mind was, I was floating somewhere. Yeah. And Elijah, that's okay, isn't it? It is. It's, it's life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay. So um, let's so how yeah. what it, how what is the best approach with What's the best approach yeah best approach yeah 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 okay that's that's perfect how do you like that bear oh i love like it so <gasps> so the value goes on the bear medicine oh Oh, look at Isn't this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that brilliance. Problem okay, so solving and personality. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to, I want to take a picture of this. I, the only thing is, I just got to move you up a little bit because you and I are on the person. Isn't that freaking? I'm going to take a picture. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll save the, I'll save it and send it to you too. Okay, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Oh my goodness. So let's just look at it. So where do you usually start when you do look at the lens first? The <laughs> well, no, I look at, I look at the convo type. Okay. Okay. So okay. problem solving conversation, the intent to find a solution to a specific <laughs> problem, which is <laughs> a little bit funny. <laughs> Brilliance okay. to, to value excellence or distinction, conspicuous talent, mental ability, oh. and then personality, the sum total, like, isn't it amazing? You know, <gasps> How, how does that work? I don't know. I don't know, Elijah. It's, I understand it. Like I said, the universe is just giving to us more today. And you've been working on this for a long time. Aren't you finding like, watch out what you ask for from the universe because it's coming, man. I, I had a call last night with a guy who's, uh -huh. who's got something called the core network. And he showed me some software interfaces that um, he's a brilliant guy. Like just, yeah. have you heard of a guy called Adam Apollo? Adam Apollo, on yours? Is he on your? No, no. But oh, he, he's been on the fringe guy. I've seen him around because he has this guardian alliance kind of group. Anyway, he we, we had a chat last night and we were introduced through another fellow. I just met through another fellow. And again, just the networking, right? Of, yeah. of like minds and people who want to shift consciousness on the planet. And right. They're so open. They're so intelligent. They're so friendly. You know, it's it's just beautiful to talk to these people. And there's an immediate connection. I showed him my stuff, and he looked at the time translator, and he's the first person to go, "Oh, I see. There's the thirteen moons. There's the zodiac. There's the this, 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 the." Mud. He knew everything on it. Didn't get overwhelmed. Could 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 comprehend it immediately, and appreciate you know what it was. And it, you know it's most people they just get overwhelmed when they see it oh my goodness because that's the realm he's in elijah like when you say shift consciousness in the world that's that's really what we're doing here with the hub with the visionary hub for sure so it worked and we had a calm conversation like we have platform on, we want to be online. We want to be out there to the world in that capacity, but we still want a physical location, right? Uh -huh. What do you think is costing the most money? A physical location. Right. And we're in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. So Sylvia and I start talking about that and we're going, well, you know, do we, you know, this physical location and stuff. And I said, with, as we're going through the end of COVID leaving, there's going to be more people wanting to come together and gather and be in each other's space than ever before. For sure. So I said, let's not just dump the physical space. 
but let's embrace it to what we need for now. And if we decide we need to move upstairs. So I said to my sign guy, like I'm so used to running my own business, right? So I just make decisions. I, we've got a sign on the side of the building, Elijah, and it's 11 feet by four feet tall. It's big. And it's got LR Future, Discover Your Future, and Desjardins. Well, that's coming down. Okay. LR Future is going to fade out. Okay. It's fading out. I know it is. I feel it. Um, and so we're going to put up there the visionary hub. Guess what I want to put on it? This is a vision I had. I sent him a note this morning. The visionary hub headquarters. Nice. This building's big. Our headquarters could be the smallest office upstairs. Oh my God. So we're going to put that on the sign. You don't think that's not going to get attention? Oh, for sure. But what about the, what type of uh, imagery are you going to have? Well, we're using our, um, we're using our visionary hub, like our logo. Okay. Yeah, we're using our logo and everything. So I'm just let's checking to see if he had, he had sent me one. Oh, because originally, because I would pay for half of it, we were just going to change the Desjardins. Okay. But we're taking LR and all that off. Okay. We don't want any of that. I want it solely the visionary hub and then headquarters in so writing. What's the size of it? Well, it's, um, shit. It's, it's four, four feet high, four feet high by, I'm going to say 11, 12 feet wide. And it's, we got a big spot on the side of the building that you see every time you're and, going and west. How do they make the sign? They, my sign guy made it for me on a heavy, it doesn't fade. It doesn't anything. So it's, vinyl? it's in three parts. I think it's kind of like that heavy duty chloroplast stuff. Something like that, Elijah, but how much does it cost? It's a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. I'm just can can you can it print an image? Like can you put an image on there? Sure. He'll do anything for us if we give it to him. I'm just thinking that <laughs> that that's like your signature, right? You want something that's just mind blowingly beautiful, right? Yes. This you is want, can you can you give me a picture of where it is on your building again? Can yeah, I'll go take a picture. Yeah, I don't have a picture right now, but I'll go take one. Okay. Could okay. you could you um give me a bit of just give me a bit of time before ordering it? Can oh, definitely. We're not going to order it yet because I said to him this morning, I said we're doing strategic planning, things are shifting a little bit. So and I said, Corey, because I've known this guy forever. I said, Corey, don't forget, I'm not the sole owner here. <laughs> I'm not here to make decisions by myself. I have a team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I'm just thinking that let me put some time and thinking about this and maybe come up with something. Um, and he'll just print off whatever we yeah. give him. Oh, because that sign originally it was like just take Desjardins off and put something on top of it. It's not that easy, Elijah. He does an immaculate job. And he said that sign is in three parts. So the Desjardins is on the third part, but it has a bit on the second part. So there's no such thing as just pulling off a piece and putting a new piece on. Okay. Yeah. You no, know, give me a bit of time and I'm going to come up with okay. something for you. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. I'll send you the side of the building just so you can see. And it's on old brick and oh. Yeah. No, because th that's your, that's your like. That's their signature. Yeah. People will be going, what the hell is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I thought if it said headquarters on it, like, let's put ourselves already out there big. For sure. No, that's I, why this piddly personnel stuff and these things that are going on are really hard for me because I'm already at the business summit, the Saskatchewan business summit, and I'm dealing with this shit. Yeah. And Carrie's the same way. She goes, Lori, I already see where we are in the world. And yeah. we're dealing with this nitpicky stuff because this person comes in. And they're just triggering and thinking everybody's got to be equal. Carrie goes, you don't think like I couldn't just step back and just piss on it. But I see the big vision. She goes, I go, don't you freaking dare step back. Yeah. 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 Um, That's her signature. You got her. Now, let me ask you something. Because um, one thing I, I think I might be able to have, let's say, a chat with Christy and maybe uh, maybe I could... Uh, Help her to see the light in a sense. Um, but I'm just wondering, do, 
honestly, do you really want to work with her like at, in a close way or are you sort of going, uh, maybe not kind of thing? I'm me, no. Deep down, I don't want to work with her. Carrie doesn't really want to, do, Carrie doesn't want to go any further in everything that we're doing for, for this to be disruptive. So when I see the good people around me that have come to me with how they're feeling about it, and Sylvia's on the fence. She just goes, well, you know, we can give her a chance and stuff like that. So I'm kind of already, because I've, this has been going on for a while, Elijah. Yeah. But I have seen her tone down a bit, like even in the hub factor, because even in the hub factor, like she wants to be a piece of everything. Do what you do well. If I'm going to facilitate the hub factor, I'll facilitate it. Like, let's build this. Like, And then... Sylvia doesn't even, she doesn't even want to be a hub factor facilitator. She'll do the pause and the little meditation at the beginning. She doesn't want to do that. Okay. And her mind is not at all. Everybody's got to do equal parts. Does she like, because like what I've been, the last thing I was doing with her was kind of yeah. coming up with some process for her to take people through. Does she want to facilitate people? Like That's what it sounds like she wants to do. So she does. She just doesn't want to do the hub factor, but she does. Like, is she okay with what we've been doing together? You and her? Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know because she hasn't really talked a lot about what you guys have done together. She'll just take it into her step up coaching. She's got a coaching business, so. Okay. She would just take it into her step up coaching. Yeah. Okay. So she does want to do coaching, like she. That's what it sounds like she wants to do. But she said to Carrie and I, because I want to do group coaching i don't want to do one-on-one -on -one because i feel we can have bigger impacts with group for sure she said after our first dare to be you because her and sylvia are in it just to observe and she said oh now i'm getting an idea on how to work with groups so it seems to me it feels a little bit like she's in there to learn all this stuff from us and then go out on her own that's what it feels like with just the things she's saying oh now i'm getting an idea on how to do group coaching well, no. but at the same time, like, I mean, from what you told me and just seeing how she is, mm -hmm. I mean, some people like they just, they're, they're really of service and they're always working the background, but they don't really want to have, <clears throat> like, I mean, you're the front person, right? You're, you're right. The, the powerhouse and you need people like Sylvia around you to support yeah. you to do what you're yeah. doing. Right. You don't need, I mean, the thing is, yeah. you know, it's like stars, you know, stars need support material so support people and you know you're you're a star i mean carrie's a star uh, that's right yes and i don't see christy as a real support person yeah i think she wants to be a star yeah and that's it like you know when you have yeah, people who um yeah yeah like Elijah, you don't even know this, but when Justine worked with me, I had never in all my years of business spent so much time with one person in my business ever in my entire life. She was so kind of needy, so kind of needy. And I just go, oh my gosh, it, it eventually just tired me out. And then the rest of my team are going like, why is all that time spent with that person? Then Lorianne steps in and she's going to coach our company in HR as an external HR. And she spends all her time with, with Justine. Yeah. So I think Justine wanted to be me right off the bat. It's like me saying, I want to be Elijah. Yeah. Are you kidding? No, I want Elijah on my team to bring his original mapping and all his skills and his excellence and his brilliance to the team. Hmm. I don't want to be Elijah. So I'm feeling Christy. She just wants to be me. Yeah. And you said it. Carrie and I are stars. We are. Carrie is a freaking star big time because her sure. facilitating this dare to be you, she's brilliant and she puts humor in it. For sure. She she is good. She is a total production manager. And and she's got that just wisdom side to her, right? So I think, I don't know, it, it feels like when Rhonda Rowe said to me, why did you guys turn a triangle into a square? Because she knew it was Carrie and I and Sylvia. Yeah. 
and she couldn't figure out why we added a fourth person in to turn it into a square when a triangle is more powerful. That was a good question, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> it, these structures are fine, but the, the dynamics of human beings are very different. Yeah. You can't take that out of the equation. Nope. Um, but I just, I know Carrie, I know Christy's feelings are going to be hurt because remember she ran the restaurant, her and her husband? Yeah. So um, she, I guess they might have had private partners, I don't know, maybe financial partners or something. And they had a meeting and the only one that stuck up for her was her husband. And they said, we can't have you here because your, your leadership style is not good for our team. So she got kind of pushed out. She got pushed out from Hilberg and Burke, that jewelry company that makes these earrings. Yeah. He was their tech person. She got pushed out of there. So guess what's happening to Christy? Here she is. Here's Christy above. We see her underneath. She's going like this. She's scrambling. She's so scared. Yeah. Like that's what I'm seeing in her. So I think it would be a matter of maybe we have to we'll have a conversation with her, but so you said you would have a conversation with her and just see where she fits in because it's like, she wants to learn all this stuff and she's not going to stick with us. I know it. And we've already put her through a lot. Cause I saw, you know, it just tells me right off the bat. I know Carrie's time is of essence right now, but Christy, as long as it was the hub pan for it, I'm going out to learn everything I can from Elijah. But as soon as the hub isn't paying for it, then She's stepping back. So, and yet, you know, she turns around and expects people to pay. Like this girl's paying her, I think, a hundred bucks an hour doing coaching, the one that she met at the Hub Factor. And she's an amazing young woman. She's going to end up being a part of this in some capacity. She reminds me of a little April or a little Lindsay kind of girl. Uh, her name so is how, how did it come about that she got her as the coaching kind of? She just went at her and said, you know what, I think if you do some coaching and you do this, she did a sales pitch. Like she's always about making the sale, making the sale, and it's right. almost too assertive. Right. Because it's about the money. And then she says, I have to keep realizing this is a business relationship. Don't take it personal. This is a business relationship. Well, it is business, but we are people within that business. So you can't separate it. So she got this Melissa girl. So, I mean, and that's, that's, again, it's kind of, uh, like without having the structures up front of knowing, okay, well, this is how we bring someone in, yeah. this is how we onboard them. And yeah, if it is through the visionary hub, we do it this way kind of thing. Yeah. And we don't have that. We don't have that in place. There's no doubt about it. So she's doing zoom coaching with this girl every week. Now she did send her to us, Sylvia, to do a flow map. And then Sylvia said, Maury, can we do it together? And we did a flow map with her upstairs. And she's, a, she's an amazing young woman. Huh. So, so, so then we started talking, like Carrie and I, we talked about when it's an event, like a series of Dare to Be You and stuff like that, we're going 50-50 net. 50% goes into the hub and 50% is split between Carrie and I. Okay. Like I wouldn't have a problem going, it all goes into the hub because we're going to grow this to a multi-million dollar business. And then we'll all be taking money right. out of the organization, but we have to start somewhere. Right. And Christy says, well, one-on-one -on is different. It should be like 80, 20. Well, it depends. Know, Again, it because we're doing the work, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Like it, it depends on again like at the beginning when there isn't much cash flow coming in it's it's different from if you have 100 clients coming in and they're all pounding at the door right right so it's 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 different because you you also have you know uh, a little bit more probably a lot more wealth than her so she probably needs the money right yeah. away and you don't yeah. so yeah and she you're right she needs the money exactly but so does sylvia and sylvia hasn't asked for a cent from anything and just because she's not coaching she's doing all the behind operation shit right and when i made a comment sylvia the work that you're doing christy goes well i'm doing work too like that's how she had to defend herself in a meeting that we had and i was just giving sylvia a compliment it wasn't 
It wasn't like I got to pat this little kid on the back. It wasn't that at all. I, I'm here with Sylvia every day. I see the work she's doing. Yeah. No, and it's, no once has she complained. Yeah. No, I mean, that's you guys work, work really well together. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Rob said. He goes, you and Sylvia are holy. She's on the page. She sees the vision. She knows what needs to happen. So that's what you need, Lori, is that anchor. And then you and Carrie can go and shine your lights. So where does Christy fit in when you really think about it, Elijah? Well, I mean, she might be really good at sales. Like, I mean, the thing is, it's, it's like getting the right person for the right job, right? And setting it up so... Like if, if there was a $50,000 contracts yeah. and, you know, she was getting 10% of that and she was out there trying to get that five grand yeah. um, and bringing in a $50,000 contract, you know, that would be good. But then she could also say, well, I can go get a 50,000 contract on my own. Why would I bother with the hub? And that's the difference between just operating a business, but coming together as a team like we are, is like, how does this all come together? Because if she went out and got that, she would really feel the obligation of, of that much going to her. I think, I don't know. I haven't really asked her the question. I've just listened to her with some comments. Well, and, and the thing is like, it, to me again, if you don't, like to value the, um, let's say the niche of the mart. Like, I mean, what you have doesn't exist anywhere on the planet, right? Like, yeah. So you guys, if you, like to me, you know, I, I want people who want to honor my work yeah. and, you know, I have to find people who, who do so and work with them to bring it into the world and, and everyone's going to benefit. And if someone doesn't see that, and they think they can do it on their own or whatever they have is fine on their own. Well, then they're, you know, that's the thing. Like I'm working with you and then I'm working with Christy through you. It's not like I'm working with Christy. Right. And so she doesn't understand that. And that's what I think about. Like if I had a chat with her, it would be yeah. sort of like a bit of a chastisement of, look, this is the situation yeah. and you either get it or you don't. Yeah. And so I could be kind of like more the heavy hand rather than you. You want to? Well, it's not a question of do I want to, it's a question of, you know, what is going to work best in okay. terms of creating the right fit, right? Yeah. And so I, I don't mind, you know, coming in with not necessarily heavy hand, but, you know, for her to understand the situation. And so I, I can do that, but I don't want to do that if deep down you guys don't want to work with her, right? Right. You know what, Elijah, we'll wait in like, cause we'll have to have, we'll have, we're going to have our next strap planning meeting on Tuesday. Cause as soon as we got off the call, like Rob sitting there and Sylvia's here, I'm here. And Rob goes, Whoa, is there animosity between those two ladies? He felt it through zoom, what was going on in their conversations and stuff. And Carrie was pretty smooth with her stuff. Like Carrie was pretty smooth with her thing. And he goes, What's going on there? And Rob had to kind of, like Rob's good at, he's a type one Enneagram, right? He's pretty good at putting a halt to somebody that's taking over the conversation that's overbearing. Because when we, Christy goes, I think all our partners should come to the hub factor. Rob supports me 100%. Don't expect me to get deep into this, but I'm here to support you so that you're able to. And she was on him here one day. Yeah, Rob, we're having it on Tuesday night. Yeah, you've got to come. And he just, she, he finally looks at her and he goes, I'm not coming. He said he literally had to like shut her down. Yeah. And I know, and Sylvia's husband, Doug came. He just came because we said our partners could maybe come. He wanted nothing. He sat like this. I don't have a question. Well, then that bugged Christy. Yeah. So why push? You know, Rob said something to me really good one day. Someone said to him, what does Lori do? And Rob goes, he didn't know what to say. He knows the discovery process, but he doesn't know the bigness of everything else. He doesn't know how to describe it. So that's when I go, I said, yeah, Rob, it's not easy to get men into the room. We've had some men here because I handpicked them because I know who they are. But we can't get men into the room. And he goes, why are you trying? Why are you wasting your time doing that? 
when there's 35 to 55 year old women that are willing to pay the money to come and work with you. Sure. And I go, I go, there's that inclusiveness again. Yeah. So I just go, okay, that's okay. The guys that'll show up will show up, but our target market and our dot, our bullseye is women 35 to 60. For sure. And it's the 50 plus that have the parashi. For sure. I don't know. Oh, like, sure. There's no doubt. Christy thinks she knows. She thinks she's like the biggest entrepreneur. She she said yesterday, well, it was my idea, the Visionator Camp. She didn't name it, but she she said that was my idea to do an entrepreneur camp because that's the skill I have. But she it's almost like you constantly need that pat on the back. Like well, it, it, if if she's run into problems all her life because of she can't sort of uh, read the situation well and is coming into aggressive, then that's yeah. she's making the same mistake. So then she's going to be defensive about everything. Yeah. Right, right. Like she'll walk in here and we'll have a board and I'll have stuff written on it because Kaylee's doing training. She's a she's a trainer for some big guru out there, and it's free. She does it for free, but she gets the information. So Kaylee's sharing it with us one day here and she's got it on a, on a whiteboard. Well, right. Christy walks in next time she comes and she's offended. Well, why didn't you guys bring me in on Zoom? Why didn't you this? Like she's left yeah. out. Yeah. Well, no, we were just having a conversation and Kaylee's making notes. Like it wasn't anything scheduled. It was just brainstorming in a moment. Yeah. So we feel like, I feel like we're just kind of being held back right now. Yeah. And that's that bow and arrow we're sitting here right now. Even the papers, I'm going to lend the hub 10 grand. And even the papers, Carrie even said her, every time she went to sign it, she just didn't know. Not that she doesn't, you know, yeah, I'll borrow 10. She said there was just something worry. And then Christy, well, Carrie hasn't signed hers yet. Why hasn't Carrie got hers back? And then I can look at the big picture going, why am I the one lending the money? Why aren't we doing a loan if we're all part of this? Like that's what Rob said yesterday. Where's everybody's best foot forward in running this organization? You're giving them free space. They're not, there's no rent being paid here. Yeah. You know? So anyway, Elijah, it's, it's way bigger, I think, than just that. But my biggest thing is, is when we get people, and Sheila Hintz, who is a big supporter, she's a promoter. She gets us on talk shows. She said to me, she goes, yeah, for some reason, I can't click with Christy. There's just something about her that I can't click with her because Sheila's a real humble lady. She wouldn't go, oh, she's a bully or anything. She just says, she's someone I can't click with. Yeah. I would never do work with her because I can't click with her. But she says, I love her mom. Bonnie Penner is her mom who's been in our group, right? Mm. So that would be the saddest part is Bonnie Penner. Like it would... Well, how are you guys communicating right now? Like she was coming down and visiting every week. Is she still, she stopped doing that or? Yeah, she stopped doing that. So now she just comes in on Zoom. She doesn't do anything with the hub factor because she's busy with mortgages right now. <clears throat> um, but yesterday we had a call day before yesterday and her and her mom were on the call from Regina. So number one in a way, and it was okay because we're trying to shift the hub factor into a paid product or a paid service and then bring something lighter with the convo killers. So we're having a conversation. Well, they're going, you know, at the end of this, we could put like a stone and we could put it into a little bag and Christy's running and getting it shows. I did that 25 years ago at a golf tournament. I handed out citrine stones and a little thing and what it meant 25 years ago. That's like minor stuff. Yeah. But then Bonnie, like her mom is a beauty. And she said something about, you know, when I'm coaching someone and they need a little bit of that calm and stuff like that, she goes, I can just refer them to Bonnie, to her mom. So then I'm going, okay, Bonnie's not even part of the hub and she can just refer it to her mom. Like, wouldn't that have been someone like Sylvia that brings peace and calm? It's kind of my thoughts. So I'm going like, why don't her and her mom just start a coaching practice? You know what I mean? And just go do it. Yeah. So I know it's going to hurt if there's going to be some hard feelings and I know it's going to be a reflection to, on me because it's going to be a reflection on me because I'm the one that triggered her and her and I are the ones that have the conversation because I'm brave enough to actually say we need to talk about this. Yeah. I don't want to 
pussyfoot around people. I want to be up front with them. And that's how Carrie is. I don't have the time to commit like you guys. Lori and Sylvia, you guys are amazing the time you're committing. I don't have that time right now, but here's what I want to do. She's up front. Right. But Christy's not feeling that it's equal. So. But the thing is, it, I mean, it's, it's funny because you, you do want to be inclusive, but it isn't equal. I mean, if you have a master carpenter on the job site, they're not equal to the carpenter who's been there for one year, right? Like Not at all. And it's not about that. So I know I even have to kind of, you know, get rid of that a little bit. But am I ever seeing patterns in those two, same patterns in those two women, Justine and Christy? Yeah. Oh, it's so similar. I mean, Justine was only 24, Christy's 36. So a little bit more life experience when in Christy. Well, it's, but it's, it's kind of like, there's this this book that was talking about uh, horse herds. Oh yeah. Talking about uh, the the leader that you kind of couldn't tell what the leader was, but there's all these horse these stallions are running around and they're they're jumping and they're kind of like getting the attention and riding through the thing and and you think they could be the leader or they want to be the leader. But no one kind of pays much attention to them. But as soon as the leader goes, we're going this way, the whole herd goes. We're going this way. So it's kind of like, and I've had to deal with this over and over again with sort of younger guys where, you know, and, and I was that younger guy where you, you, you want your time, you, 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 you know, you're leaving your parents, you want your time to be the, the man or whatever it is. And so you sort of take on the authoritarian figure and you, you do your little ego dynamics with them. And it's up to the leader with how good you are in dealing with, because, because in many ways they're very intelligent, in many ways they're, they're very charismatic and they're very good and they need to be given something, but they also need to know their place. And so the, the wise leader is someone who, can, who knows that from the get-go and sort of coaches them in terms of how to interact. And then it's up to, you know, it's, it's the, up to the younger person to really understand, okay, you know, I can do this, but I can't do this. Yeah. And you know, when you said the wise leader, I kind of want to be that. So that's where my heart is going. Can I be that wise leader and lead this stallion or whatever? She's a female, but lead this stallion to, I don't know. So that part of me, there's a big part of me that says that, but if all of a sudden you've got the team, you, you know, Sylvia doesn't say anything. She's just so kind. But when you've got a bit of the team there and then you've already got a strategic planner already seeing animosity, Migo, she's, she's bright. She's bright. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, maybe coaching, like... And she's the one that pushes, you know, we all got to do a mastermind. Sylvia, you're doing yours, you're... you're Sylvia doesn't want to do a mastermind. She doesn't want to be a facilitator and a coach. Mm. She doesn't want that. But she's just feeling like, well, I better do one if everybody else is doing it. Mm. Well, and, and again, I, 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 I remember kind of suggesting that that's what everyone did. So maybe that's, again, part of my, my maybe, fault in some degree. You know what, Elijah? That's... And like I said, I know, like you said, there's depth to these maps and depth of all of this so deep. And Christy's just learn, 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 pull, pull, pull. And I think it's it's become almost like an overwhelm for her because she wants to get caught up. Well, I said, Christy, I did my map in 2011. I'm still learning from it because my thrill would be to go into organizations and companies and bring the team together in EQ, emotional intelligence, through our mapping system. That's what I, that would be a dream. Instead of working one by one by one by one, let's go and make an impact to a team. And I know my team at LR was small, but it still, it still made an impact. Yeah. So, so when you do that, you said just to give you a little time on that, I'll go take a picture of the building. And if you could put the headquarters in there. Okay. I think that's like, I always think of points of view in the training I did. They're, they're, they call it 
Points of View HQ, which is headquarters, is in Israel. And they do have a physical location, but they're dealing with the world now. They have a captain for Canada now, girls in Montreal, auto, uh, Montreal. And so there's a team and they build teams and, and country leaders, but they're looking and saying, you know what? It's almost like we need a leader in Western Canada because Canada is a big country. And it all just kind of intertwines and fits hand in hand, right? So. I'm loving that stuff and I haven't even been spending time on it. I just use it as a tool to pull out if I need to pull out a card, you know, mm -hmm. at our dare to be you, I pulled out authenticity was the card that ended up pulling out. I just shuffle one and I pull the card and hold it up. And it's, it's got all these women, same color hair and authenticity is the word. So then I send it to them with a the little write up in the book so they can think about what is authenticity. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, no, I, I'm excited to work on this this board. Cool. Because um, I think it, it needs to be the thing where everyone's okay. We want in. We want to be there. Yes. This, this yeah. is the most exciting thing in Yorkton. Yeah. See, even that's been a little bit of a halt because it's like something's not feeling right. I get that feeling in my gut, Elijah, and I'm starting to pay attention to it. I didn't pay attention to it. Lorianne was in the interview with Justine with me. My gut told me. Her, her last name is Lutz. Right away, I'm going, how will my clients react? Because that family has kind of a bit of a connotation in the community. Her grandpa was a big farmer, ended up in the psych center every fall at harvest. And um, I know there's some stuff. And I, my gut said, do I hire this person? Because what will, and I had clients, top clients come to me and said, if you turn my book of business over to her, I won't be here. Really? I knew it in my gut and I still hired her. Mm. So when am I going to learn, Elijah? <laughs> I don't want to come back again to learn that lesson. I want to learn it now to get this out to the world. Because I Louise Hay started her company when she was 65. Well, I'm wondering about, I mean, that problem solving and personality. Yeah. And Brilliance. Brilliance. I'm wondering when was the last time you had a one on one with her? With Christy? Yeah. A couple weeks. And um, maybe, maybe I have another. She's coming next week. I mean, even like to, to address the animosity with, like the thing is it's, is it worth like, it's a big decision, right? I mean. It, oh, it's very big. And we've got the kids camp coming and Christy's gonna run the market side of that. And that's what Car Carrie and I talked about today. She goes, it's, it's almost like, you know, we get through the camp and then we come together and we see how that goes or we do it before then. Yeah, I think you should address it now. Like, I know, I think you're exactly right. And just not let it fester because it's been festering enough as it is. It's just like I said, Elijah, nobody's stepping up. It's I'm, I've got that little, I've got that strong side to me as well. So thank goodness I'm stepping into it instead of just letting it go for another six months and then it becomes a tragedy for sure yeah and i know deep down she's not a bad person at all yeah i don't think it's a question of good or no. bad it's just a question of right fitted right fitted that's it and that's what i'd end up saying to her even when the time came if it did come to that it's not about you you've got great skills you're everything it's just we I, we don't see you as a fit for here So you think that's it? That's it. That's it. So I know we weren't expecting that today, but I just wanted to go quick. Okay, this map. Yeah. Okay, now Sylvia, this is her understanding and it wasn't mine. So this is what I'm, so I drew those cards that day with you. Oh yeah, it's 11.07. I drew those cards with you that day and I want to know, does each set, like I have three cards in seven rows, right? Right. 
do I put, does, how do these go onto these maps? Like there they are. Okay. I had brilliance. No, remember I had frequency fence and designing and acceptance. So Sylvia believes we went yesterday to fill out our map and talk about it. And we both came from a different context. And I said, no, this is the whole thing. No, she says, no, you do a map for each one of those seven things. Well, it depends on like each one of those is a mm -hmm. session. So yes, yeah, she's right. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you break each one of those down into what you want to do with that person, with that conversation type as the overall framework. So if you're having a designing conversation for an hour, you're going to be helping them design whatever it is that they wanted to design. I see. Okay. Okay. So, so that's kind of what we wanted to talk about, but we both had different intentions and mission goals going into the meeting with you when we pulled our card. Right. Well, so the, the I, idea, like, I mean, this is like one of the main ideas, right? Like one of the main ideas is using the conversation types to design things. Right? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. And then you're looking at, okay, we're creating a process to take your customer through. Mm -hmm. So let's say we're looking at your discovery process yeah. and you look at it as a series of conversations. Yeah. You use the conversation type. And so each session, each module is one conversation type, but then you can break that down into other conversation types. Right, like let's say you have a designing conversation type, and the, the first conversation might be, okay, first we're going to brainstorm. We're going to brainstorm all your ideas of what we're going to do, and then we're going to organ, and then we're going to look at those ideas and choose three of them. Okay. And then we're going to choose those three, and then we're going to break those three down into four parts each, kind of thing. So that could be a critical analysis. So you start with a brainstorm, and then you um, come up with like the critical analysis to break it down and then you have your parts. So I'm just saying that you like, it's in structured layers, right? Where you have your whole conversation. If, we, if we're in a negotiation, it's everything in it is a negotiation, but then we have to break it down into pieces. Okay. You know, I wonder if, cause we've never done this with the discovery process and Kaylee, she took that nine step from my discovery process and she fit it into, um, Peak performance. Into what? Because peak performance, like because okay. she's her her business or her course is about peak performance. She broke all nine parts of those just down just like that and had how it fit in. But so her and I are working on the discovery process to refine it because it's kind of been a bit of my model, but I haven't done a ton of it to the extreme that I can. Right. Because I was busy being a financial advisor, right? So now to use it as a coaching tool around money, I want to refine the nine points. And it's, it's amazing when you look at one accounting, how well do you keep track of your money? Well, that's even the personality type one is about that. Yeah. So it's, it's funny how that all kind of blends. Maybe Elijah, Haley and I, because her and I are going to work on this, she kind of understands it. Maybe you and I and her in my next session, why don't we work with the discovery process and use that to start with this. Okay, that makes sense. I, I've been waiting kind of well, to do that. Hey, you know, like, that makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Because I wrote down discovery process, like the mission goal, right? I'm thinking, okay, what could the mission goals be for Lori? I put down discovery process, Saskatchewan CEO summit in 2022, and I put access now because we just got offered to do a series and he says, do you want a half hour or an hour? Like we have so many choices, but I believe this, but I got to go to the team and say, we have this offer. What would that look like? And he, when Cole walked in here, he looked at this space and he goes, oh my God, you guys have your own studio right here. I know. You have so many corners that you can sit in and have different, he's looking at the map on the wall. He met you, him and Lorianne and you, we're in Fifth Avenue Cup and Saucer doing the cards and they kicked you out. Why'd they kick us out? They kicked you guys out in Yorkton because they thought, they thought you were doing tarot card reading in some little coffee shop in Yorkton. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. <laughs> you go, Elijah's amazing. 
I do remember. He said, you know, the thing with, he knows Lorianne. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> he goes, Lori, one thing I see about you is you know that we're still in a bit of an old boy's old paradigm model going to the new model. And what he sees with me is that I'm bringing it gradual and creating, filling the gap. And he says, and you're already coming out of business and you've already built your success. So you're already got the credibility. He said, the thing with Lorianna, she was so excited about it. She understood it. She took it right there immediately. And it scared people. Yeah. Can you believe people think it's tarot card readings? But you know who most of the people are that think that way? Are the religious people. Yeah. For sure. Cole said an old Ukrainian farmer said something to him about those being tarot cards, about the devil. And he goes, it's you guys, you religious people that have the devils and the angels and all this kind of stuff. So what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> so him and I, yeah, that's what he said. I said, have you ever met Elijah? Because he saw the map on the table when we sat down to have the meeting. He goes, oh, this stuff is so amazing. So Cole is so excited to do this series and just, we'll do some dare to be you stuff. So is this weekly or? It, we can have it weekly. We can have it monthly. We can have it semi-monthly. We can have an hour, half hour. It's open book. Elijah, this is access now across Canada. That's massive. I think, I think we should look at, we should tie that into the discovery process. Okay. And then look at how that can be the soft sell for the discovery process. Yes. And, and then have, yeah, I mean, that's huge. I think we should yeah. really look at the, the breakdown of the design of that. And especially when the government of Canada is saying we are in the worst debt in the world is us Canadians. Really? And they're going, financial literacy is key. Fine. Okay. The government is saying that. Elijah, look at this picture of the wolves behind me, but look at the water. Oh my gosh. Do you see a face? Yeah, those eyeballs. Oh. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I don't see it when I look at the picture, but I'm seeing the reflection. It's a face. It is. And there's a faded mouth below the eyeballs. It is. Look right there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you can't see. I'm pointing to it. I'm pointing to it. Oh my gosh. You're being washed. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Okay. So I think you're right. I think me, instead of thinking I got to create something new right now, why don't I take like, even I've even got a commitment letter that you people sign when they're doing this. I am now taking charge of my finances. No longer am I going to let da 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 power over me. I've already got all that. So why would I be trying to recreate something new? You just, you just got to put the right pieces in the right yeah. order. Yeah. And then create the repetitive process, right? I mean, it's... Can we do one more um, spell before we go with sure. a question for me? Sure. Okay. Uh, and I just want to say, I know access now is the way to go. I know it's going to get it out to Canada, but it's going to be more about, is it the discovery process? Yeah. Is the discovery process the program to take out to act to access now um, or, to, yeah. or maybe like how to how do I? yeah integrate yeah. the discovery process yeah. and access now and yeah access now yeah isn't that cool access now like <laughs> okay you'll send me these ones right the christy one and this yeah. one Oh shoot, I gotta you have to log in. How long does it keep you on, Elijah? Usually, what do you mean? Like, you got logged out, you were on doing the yeah, I, yeah, it logs you out. You, you have to sort of um, if you've been out for a while, you have to kind of go back in. Okay. That, okay. So, yeah. Best. yeah, to integrate. Access now. 
access now. Oh, that bear is, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh so i've already done the first contact with cole he went back excited so he says monday they will be getting in touch with you but if they don't you let me know and i will come tuesday morning and we'll have a conversation so i already done the first contact but look at the understanding the value the after outcome of grasping the inward or hidden nature of things or perceiving in an intuitive manner. <gasps> and understanding is one of our things, happiness, understanding, and balance. And then abundance, well, that's a universal force. But guess what card I pulled last time I asked something on our hub factor, I was in harmony, and national media showed up for me. Right, right, which, Jesus. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> And Wendy was here yesterday and Wendy is, she always calls me the Oprah of Yorkton. She goes, she was in film with her husband. She wasn't in film, but she watched a lot of it in Vancouver. I mean, she, her best friend was Robin Williams. But she said, Lori, you are natural, man. I've, I've watched film and you just do it so natural. So she said, you're the Oprah of Yorkton. So yesterday she's hearing Cole say that it's gonna grow across Canada. Well, you should have seen her face. She is just big smiles. Okay. What I think, let me also, um, I'll work on a structure for the show. Okay, perfect. Um, Cause that's, that's a huge opportunity. We got to jump on that. I know we do because like you and I'll be doing interviews. Um, and you know, I, I got the red chairs here. We can do zoom interviews. We can do everything, Elijah. Yeah, no, it, you, you got a perfect studio and then that becomes the, People want to come to the place where the TV show is, right? Let's, yeah. it's perfect. Here we go. This is, that's why we need this physical space. And I said to Sylvia, so it costs us a thousand bucks a month for now. I'm not charging rent, but we have a photocopier. We have a phone. We have, you know, different it's things huge. that we it's have. Huge. Big deal. Oh, thank you for sending me this because this really just gave me the answers not that i didn't have them anyway elijah but this just gives the guidance i know this is powerful well and i think first contact is also that people are going to get first contact with visionary hub through access now oh yes right <gasps> and then they're going to you're going to give them the teachings in terms of the show and then right. first they're going to come to you to go we want this course and and you teaching us oh yeah right because that's a marketing that's a total marketing card holy yeah. Hannah. yes it's oh, elijah every time i talk to you i just illuminate the new levels like i i don't even know how to describe it but for me because i get big and excited out there is like okay now i gotta hone in get this organized because it's going to be so big we need to be ready yeah right okay yeah. no I mean, I mean that's like the amount of synchronistic support i think is just going to grow and grow yeah it, but it's 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 really important to get that core team kind of like tight and on the same page and definitely you know, th this is a big challenge for you, right? Like, I mean, it's the same things coming up. It's like, how do you deal with this? And so um, I'm still wondering, I think you should have a chat before, like, I think I should, you should bring me in if you need me to, but I think you should have a chat with her. And I don't know, like really go with your intuition about how to deal with it. Like, a, like it's, it's, uh, yeah. Or I'm just wondering if I should talk to her. I'm just. Yeah, I know. And you know, your conversation could be. And then you'll know, won't you? Well, I mean, the thing is, last time I remember when I did speak to her that time, yeah. um, I could tell that she was hurt and angry around how she was treated, but she wasn't kind of getting her, she didn't get that she had created it. Right. That's the thing with her. Like, what's wrong with saying, I realize I'm fairly assertive. Oh my gosh, someone said that. 
she stabbed back at me and said, well, someone said, Who's, who says Rory's the leader there? That's how she responded to me talking to her about Rhonda Rowe and Guy, mm. you know, feeling that way. She just came back at me to attack me instead of saying, oh my God, I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's something I need to work on a bit. That showed me the immaturity level. Yeah. So. Okay. How about, I think maybe, I think you should talk to her and from that, you come up with whether you really want to work with her or not. Because if you don't want to work with her, there's no point. Yeah, there's no sense. You're right. If you want to work with her, yeah. then yeah. I then you should talk to her. And then I think I should talk to her and sort of okay. explain to her the situation and how sort of lucky she is. <laughs> and how lucky she, she wants is. To, if she wants to blow it, she can blow it. But yeah. so how about you sort of sit down and really decide how, you know, how close in what way. And if you do, and then, you know, again, cut her loose if, if you really don't want to, right? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of comes down to the pros and cons. Like, how does that, how's that going to, how's that going to be? And I would say like, even like the, the animosity in that call, like you just can't have that. Like Carrie's, you know, you and Carrie are a dynamic team and, you know, you work well together and, and Christy has not proven herself and everything she's proving is, is, you know, find your great in this, but the harmony of the team is really important. And if you don't take that into account and you can't take feedback, then, you know, you're not ready. Yeah. And it, it might be that you might say, let's, let's look at this in another year. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. We can learn, you know, we'll, we'll be farther ahead. Um, but just, you know, we're not just saying that now, but, you know, you've got to, you know, gain some humility. You've got to gain, you've got to understand that your impact is, is strong. And if you don't learn how to tone it down, um, you know, you're going to have the same problem over and over again, because you've already experienced it. Mm -hmm. And if, if you, you know, if you think you could, you're farther ahead than you are, well, go prove it, you know, go do it, go do it on your own, because you're probably better on your own that's what I'm that's a really good your impact is strong but it's becoming strong here in not a way that's really supporting this team I mean Rob that's this is our first strap planning that all four of us were on there because Carrie couldn't make the first one but Carrie said she got something that said a cancellation from Christy so what's going on there the universe is doing something yeah so Carrie said she thought the meeting was canceled because she got a cancellation from Christy and we haven't investigated it but isn't that weird? Yeah. And Christy's the one sending out the Zoom links. Yeah. So yeah. you don't want someone too tight who can sink the ship, right? You got that right. Yeah, Sylvia and I and Carrie are pretty balanced. Carrie being the three, me being the seven, Sylvia being the nine, we bring we bring a good, you know, good energy together. Mm. Yeah. And it does. Carrie says, Lori, I just feel like this is draining me. This personnel, this personnel stuff is draining. No, you want, you want to be inspired and psyched. Right. And oh. guess what our highest value is for conversations and communications internally? Inspiration. Uh, and, so. see that, and that's the thing, like the, the values of the field create the field. You're either going to come in or you're going to be... Uh, repulse right it's one or the other so it's a great way to distinguish okay if, if you're on board you can take the energy fine but if you can't you know you're a customer and you're paying us exactly remember when christy phoned you and that was when she was a bit angry but yet a bit hurt and everything it was because i made a mention of a values map that we already had and shame on us for not presenting it when new people come in yeah so let's do a presentation on it and she carrie was good with it but Christy goes, well, what about Carrie and I? Like, what about our values? And that's how she responded to that instead of just embracing it. Yeah. And saying, well, that makes sense. You guys have been working on this for how many years? I just came in in end of April. Yeah. Like originally when she came in to do a little bit of planning, because she was a planner, she came in originally, she had us with a bicycle, with a basket on the front of it and stuff coming out of the basket. And I'm going, are you freaking kidding me bicycle with a freaking basket 
<sighs> anyway, she had it all drawn out. You'll see our plan that she did for us. It's the bicycle with the basket. So I have never done research on her. It, I know a lot of people in Regina. It wouldn't take much for me to make five calls and say, do you know this person? Do you know this person? Can you give me a, some feedback? Yeah. And we're letting someone come in to be a founder of something that's so magnificent for the world. You don't even freaking hire an employee without at least some backup. For sure. Talk for sure. Less, but then again, less. shame on us. I just have trust. Trust is a very high value for me. And <laughs> sometimes it gets me into trouble. Hey, Elijah. Okay. I love you, my friend. I think you're doing unbelievably magnificent work. And I'm very excited. I did a really nice video for the wave of leadership people to give them the convo cards. Okay. And um, I don't know how to get it to them because it says it's too big of a, it's one minute and 11 seconds. If you go uh, big file transfer. Uh huh um let me see if i can just send you the link i'll send you a link to a big file transfer thing okay so you'll and, then send send, and then i'll send you those two images okay that's great and then our, our my two oh that that's spell this, those spells were amazing yeah <laughs> uh, i don't know is that out to the world now can we start using yep. this yep you can certainly okay. so i want to do strictly some training on going through a process with you just so that i'm the you on there I've got a background that fits it and that we go through it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Elijah, have a wonderful rest of the day. Okay. okay. Am I seeing you guys at two o'clock? Two o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Sounds good. Okay. Bye.